least 65 people dead in Iran and Iraq after a major earthquake. We want to show you new video now of the destruction in Halabja, Iraq, 30 kilometers from the epicenter. The city lies on the border between the two countries, and you can see the destruction there. 61 deaths have been reported in Iran, four in Iraq. Those are the numbers right now. The 7.3 magnitude quake was felt throughout the country, and the prime minister says he is closely monitoring the situation. Hospitals have been damaged. Many villages have no electricity and people have been sleeping outside. The tremor was felt as far away as Pakistan, Lebanon, Kuwait and Turkey. The Turkish Red Crescent says it is sending tents, heaters, beds and blankets to quake victims in Iraq. Julie Martin is monitoring the situation. Joining us now with more. This was a very large earthquake and it was shallow. Very shallow, very close to the surface and those are always uh, more deadly in general. Uh, this only 23 kilometers beneath the surface and a very large earthquake at that in terms of magnitude of 7.3 and this is not usual. This is not something we have seen in these parts since the 1990s. So taking a look at where exactly Exactly this happened. You mentioned the Iraq Iran border. And since this has happened, we have actually had two aftershocks as well. Uh, this one here and this one to the south. So one to the west, one to the south. And that is really pretty typical when you have an earthquake of this magnitude that you would see some pretty sizable aftershocks coming in behind it. And that is what we have been dealing with. One of those, a 4.5, one a 5.3. So still pretty powerful.